Hey everybody, today we're going to make some lube for a black powder revolver. And we're going to use some ingredients that you probably already have in the house. All of them are going to have beeswax. And then we also are going to use coconut oil, Crisco, and of course, olive oil. Those are the three different type of ingredients we're going to use to make three different type of lubes. So stay tuned and we'll see how it's done. First we're going to start with the gunslinger method, which is a guy that has a YouTube video that did it this way. First we're going to start with 30 grams of beeswax. Then we're going to do four teaspoons of olive oil. One. Two, three, four. Then we're going to do three teaspoons of coconut oil. One, two, three. Now we need to mix it all together and melt it. Then mix it again. I have to tell you. That smells good. Alright, so once it's melted, make sure it's mixed up good. And then we're going to go ahead and set this to the side and start on the next one. The next one we're going to do is the Droolist method, his second one. So in his video, he was talking about lube and he mentioned, and I have no tallow. He mentioned that one thing you can do is 50% olive oil and 50% beeswax. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, one fourth cup beeswax. One fourth cup olive oil. Be right back when I get this melted down. Doesn't smell as good as the one with the coconut, but it still got that honey smell from the beeswax. Like always, make sure it's mixed up really, really good. And then we're going to continue on for the next one. The next method we're going to do is the sharpshooter method. There's a YouTuber, I'm going to have his link down in the description below for his videos. But he made a comment on one of my videos that he used 40, he used 60% beeswax and 40% Crisco. This will make it easier on me, I'm going to do a 50-50 mix. And if it's too loose and need to be solid, I would try his method, his complete method then. So let's give this a shot. One fourth cup Crisco. Let's go ahead and plop that in there. We're going to do one fourth cup beeswax. Probably should have done this first. Lesson learned always put the beeswax in first. And there you have it. Like always, make sure it's mixed up really good. And I'm going to put this to the side with the rest of the three. And in a few days, I'm going to see y'all at the range and we're going to test these out. Y'all have a wonderful day. And i see you in a sec. Hey everybody. Alright, we are going to try the gunslinger method, which as a reminder, that was... Uh, coconut oil, olive oil, and bee wax. So I got a blank here that I made that I'm going to fill up with it and go ahead and shoot it. And the reason why I'm doing blanks is because we got a lot of bad winter weather over here and um, I just can't drive to the range right now uh, due to the ice that's falling on the roads and everything. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. It actually kind of goes in there pretty good. So this is my first time doing this. Um, so eventually I had to get into the, the groove of it. 
but it's not that hard. Um, I think it's definitely more time consuming uh, than to using the um, the wads. So I might look into making my own wads where you just pour this stuff over it, let it soak, and uh, punch them out. I think that would be something easier to do. Um, but it's pretty easy to get on the knife and um, go ahead and put it in here. Probably using more than what I need to. Um, but hey, go ahead and give it a shot. See how it does. So the cap that didn't go off, I tried multiple times. There was no <laughs> there was no powder stuff in there. So let's go ahead and recap it. But I won't show that. Hey everybody. Alright, we're gonna try the do the do list method, his second one. So this is fifty percent beeswax, fifty percent olive oil. All right, straight away, it seemed like the coconut one added is a little bit better. But not much. So you can get away with all you have of olive oil or beeswax, you can get away with it. And I gotta watch on other people videos and see what they use to get this in there. If it's just a knife. Or they have like some type of special tool. So then y'all watching, y'all put these stuff on. This um let me know what y'all use if it's just a knife like this. But there is a little bit of a different consistency. So right now I am on the coconut train. Alright, last one, the sharpshooter method. So just a reminder, this is 50% beeswax, 50% Cresco. So let's give this one a shot. Definitely better than the olive one, oil one. But to be honest with you, I'm not really sure if it's better than the one with olive oil and coconut. Uh, it's probably pretty close to the same. Uh, but it's definitely better than just the olive oil one. The way I'm thinking, was is the way to go. So I'm definitely going to look into getting the tools and all that stuff to make my own waz. Uh, because I can definitely make these loose and just pour them on top of it. Alright, so the winner was the Gunslinger uh, with the coconut oil and the olive oil and beeswax. For some odd reason with the coconut, I guess it just, it was easier, more palatable and everything to um, get it to work. Second place is the Sharpshooter with the Crisco. And last place is the Secondary um, Duelist one which had just the uh, olive oil and beeswax. Now I'm pretty sure the way he does it with tallow will probably be the winner, but I don't have tallow. A lot of people don't have tallow. And these type of stuff you might just have in your house. I would have to say that, you know, this is much messier. Um, this is the first time I play with this uh, because most of the time I just use the was. And I think I'm going, you know, probably use one of these, maybe like the Crisco one. Uh, that might be the cheapest uh, to make felt was, uh, lubricated front was, because that's what I normally use now. And it's way cleaner, way simpler, way faster than these. 
But, this was a good experiment for me. So y'all have a wonderful day, and keep on shooting.